This is Jeff Kohanek from Universal Electronics at Cable Tech 2017 in Denver, Colorado. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the technology that UEI is bringing to MSOs and our other customers worldwide. So let's start with voice. A few years ago, Apple introduced Siri and taught people not to talk to people on the other end of the phone, but to talk to a device in their hand. Well, not long after that, remote controls would come out for TVs and OTT devices trying to do the same thing. But the execution was not quite perfect and acceptance was also mediocre at best. However, a few years ago, Comcast introduced their X1 platform and the remote control is changing the way that people are interacting with content. So whether it's far field voice or near field, UEI is here to help them provide a better experience for their customers and increase satisfaction. Now, voice isn't really the only thing that's happening, but it's become a key. With voice integration, you've got RF remote, you've got our intelligence, UEI software running on the set-top box, and that enables us to provide other features. Now, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of those features here using um, the Air TV platform by Sling. So UEI software, again, running on the box, is able to do things that you could not do before. My example. So here you can see the remote control is controlling this Sony TV behind me. Now, what happens is subscribers go out and they buy a new TV, a new AVR, and change their home theater to something else. And then they have to go through a programming process. This painful lookup codes entered in the remote, trial and error, it doesn't work. Now I gotta call my service provider, it costs them money, and maybe a truck roll. Well, UEI QuickSet can solve that problem. So now you see I've got this Panasonic TV and a Harman Kardon surround sound AVR. The remote control is now going to control this system because the software running on this box has detected the devices and set it up without us having any interaction. So now when I change volume, um, oh, we're muted right now. <laughs> okay, so when, when I change volume on this, uh, using the remote control, you'll see that the AVR will change. You can see the display here and here. The remote has been programmed automatically by the software on the box. Now there are other features that it can do besides just program, discover and program for devices. We've got another feature called One Touch View. So, my scenario, let's say Timmy is at home playing Xbox, leaves it on the wrong HDMI input, right? And uh, then goes and turns off the AVR. Now mom walks in and she wants to watch your service. She picks up the remote and she sees this. There's nothing on, on my TV. Then you get a call, is, is cable out in my area? Well. Those calls cost a lot of money. This is difficult to walk through. And all it is is a simple input just being incorrectly switched. I press one button on the remote. Boom, press this button. The EVR turns on, the TV switches input. And all this happens because UEI intelligence on that box is aware of the configuration and can solve the problem for, for the MSF. And uh, so that's one touch view. Now, other features you can have um, in the system are things like Remote Finder. So I have a button on the box, a uh, little thing comes up, the remote beeps, now I find the remote in my couch cushions. This basically is just a free feature because of the other pieces that you've done. It comes with the system. So as you can see, the way you use remote control in your living room is changing. And then lastly, Let's do a little voice search. Tom Cruise movies. So I type in that. You can see how quickly it finds the content. I pick what I want to watch and I'm off and running. 